Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Hometown Cable. Our program is called What's Going On Here Every Sunday. I'm Bob Venn. Calvin Castine has the camera. Usually, we make a long trips, and we go see people all over the area. Very seldom do people come to us. But there's a gentleman this morning that has come up here to NCCS from Clinton Community College because the college is coming up here in some way, and we're here to find out what that's all about. This is not a different face here. We're kind of different, but you've, you've seen this man before. This is Mike Schwartz, uh, Continuing Education, Correct. Clinton Community College. Good. Hi, Mike. Good morning. Nice to see you again. Even though I called him Max a couple times the last time we met, but about two years ago, as a matter of fact, I was looking up last night the record, right. about two years ago. Uh, we were at Clinton Community for a long period. I was the other day. Calvin called me, and I was I had company, and he said we're going to meet with Mike Schwartz on Tuesday morning. And I went back in the living room, and I mentioned I'm going to be up here. And man was from out of town. He said I know Mike Schwartz. He said I belong to an organization with him, Edmund Susdorf. Oh yes, you know? Ed, Ed, <laughs> yeah. Ed Susdorf's good friend. Ed and I were on a couple boards. One was a credit union, and Ed was a teacher for quite a while. He's also a Kalania. Yeah, he's also yeah. a graduate of the NCC, uh, Champlain Central School oh, up here oh, in Champlain. See, I learned something today. That's how we knew. Oh, okay. Great. Uh, <coughs> we're at the uh, uh, Northeastern North Clinton Central. We're in the office of uh, Mary Jo, Mary Jo Van Acker. And uh, you've come up to tell us a little bit about continuing education in the North Country. But first of all, just fill us in again about who Mike Schwartz is, what do you do and where are you from? Well, I've been very, very fortunate. I came up to the North Country originally back professionally in 1965 and I worked for three years at Jefferson Community College as a professor of business there. And then I went to Connecticut for a brief 18 months and I was fortunate to come up to Clinton Community College when it started in 1969 as the uh, co-chair of the business division and also a member of the faculty full-time and then I was asked to start continuing education and I think from there you pretty much know the story as the as the North Country grew Clinton Community sure Country. has uh, you say you came up so you mean you're from down near the city well I was originally born in New York City but I lived right outside in a community that was probably about the size of uh, Champlain or Rouse's Point in fact Regrettably, in some ways, many of our North Country neighbors are going to be going to that town, oh. Pearl River, New York. Oh, yes, and yes. That's about 20 miles from New York City, and I also at one time uh, worked at Ledley Laboratories when it was owned by American Cyanamid, and now, of course, we know why a theorist through American Home Products has uh, acquired that facility and uh, many of our North Country neighbors will be going down there to work in their research facilities. Well, let's, can we deviate just a minute here and what what can they expect when they get to Pearl River? What what kind of an area is it? What are they going to do? What kind of living conditions? Don't scare them. But no, I, <laughs> I, I won't scare them. It, it brings back many, many, many very fond memories of when I used to be able to leave my home in 1951 and I was a young lad then of about eight years old and I used to be able to uh, walk in apple orchards across the street and down the road and uh, it, it, it was very raw it, it, and at that time of course uh, anything outside of uh, New York City was pretty rural but it, it was a beautiful community and, and uh, it like many other communities has grown tremendously uh, probably now Pearl River has about 50,000 people 45 to 50,000 people so in roughly 35 years uh, it's really expanded uh, it has become a suburb and I would say the county uh, Rockland County of which it isn't the southernmost point uh, being the first town over the New Jersey border uh, probably has well in excess of a quarter of a million people a lot of shop shops uh, a lot of concrete. There are, though, however, those places even within Rockland County today and Pearl River that do and have been able to maintain uh, what I would can say the rural area. Cost of living, though, probably a house down there will run our neighbors uh, probably at least two to two and a half times. Is that right? And, and when we speak of taxes here, uh, they have taxes of five to eight thousand dollars on a home. So it's it's difficult and. Generally speaking, the wages don't always increase in proportion. You came the right direction. Uh, I don't have any regrets <laughs> about it. <laughs> All right. I, well, I'll just give you a little idea. But when we hear about Pearl River, we don't know where it is, and it's that close to the city, really. Okay, Mike. Uh, 
Clinton Community College, in addition to having uh, regular college courses where you get credit and people go full time, you also have night courses for uh, non-credit, that I can go take electricity, driver training, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you also told us the last time that you do have credit courses at night. Absolutely. And you now are expanding those out to other areas. Uh, right. You did do it at the airbase for a while. Well, we had a very, very large operation at the airbase. We offered over 35 courses at one time in the in the evening there. And we did have courses at uh, correctional facilities, which is no longer. And uh, we started last semester as a test pilot with, uh, we offered, I believe, initially we offered uh, four or five courses, and three of those courses did go. And we have about 35 to 40 students currently attending here at night. It, right, at here, right here. Right here. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And there's an accounting class, and there's a business organization and management class, and a psychology class. And uh, we've had fantastic cooperation from uh, Northeastern Clinton Central School, uh, Krista Grandpre, the superintendent, and uh, Mary, Van, uh, Mary Jo Van Acker have been great, and then uh, also uh, the principal has been a uh, fantastic uh, help to us as well. And we realize that 25 to 30 miles many times means that people are going to drive an extra hour to uh, an hour and a half, depending upon the weather, and uh, there is a population base which many people don't realize up here. When you start looking at Chazy Moors and the Champlain, Rouse's Point, and then we can't forget our neighbors over here in Vermont just across the bridge at Alberg and even Swanton. Mm -hmm. And uh, through some research that we've done, uh, a lot of people in Vermont have told us that even with the double tuition, they are better off coming here uh, in terms of the cost and also the closeness for courses that they may want. Yeah. So it's a great aspect to people living here, but it's also a great aspect of potential for people who work here and may find that after work they want to take a course before they go home. And um, that's one of the things we're trying to provide. Not only credit courses, but we also expect to be offering credit-free programs as well. You know, when you mentioned 25 miles, I always try to correct people, that's 50 miles because we have to come home oh, right. afterward. It, correct. Right. So it's a 50 mile trip. Right. People always say it's not 50 miles. It is 50 yeah. miles to go and come back and we're going to come back. We'll take a sharp break and we're going to come right back after that. Please stay with us watching Hometown Cable. So we're back to talk further, but, uh, Mike, I'm going to call you Max again. Um, <laughs> you, you, why do you, you must be, you must be a Max. I had an Uncle Max. Did you have yeah, an Uncle Max? I didn't know your <laughs> uncle. Okay, Michael. And let me, uh, one more thing. When I was talking to uh, Edmund Sustar, I said, you know, when we did that interview, the last person we talked to was Mike. And I said, I'm really glad that we did, because had we talked to you first, I may not have ever got to the other people. You're a very sociable, <laughs> likable person, Mike. Well, and I'm not saying that much. for the camera. And he agreed with that. And uh, I don't know. Maybe it's our size. You think that's why we get along? Right. That's right. It. Must be. All right. What brought this about? Why did you decide to come up here? I don't think you covered that fully. And come here. You said we need maybe something up north. But uh, that's a big move you're making. Well, our college is responsive to the community. And one of the things that we need to consistently be doing is to get a pulse on the community. And through our efforts of community needs analysis, we did some research. And as you may recall, we had a program uh, recently that we were fortunate to take over from the Plattsburgh and Clinton County Chamber of Commerce called Leadership Clinton. And that program has been very, very, very successful and uh, we had uh, 15 people graduate from it last year. And one of the things as I was going through, because I coordinated that, I was very fortunate to coordinate that program, was uh, it provided us with an opportunity to visit businesses uh, and other uh, areas throughout the county and listen to business people, listen to people in medicine, listen to people in agriculture, uh, in education, in culture. And through that, I started to do a little research about the pockets of pop uh, population, demographics on our community even to a greater extent than I had before. And as we started listening to uh, various people, uh, one locally here who uh, 
came down and spoke to the group, uh, happens to now own, uh, I think it's Transborder, uh, the company Sunny. Yes, Spiegel. Uh, Spiegel. Yes. Uh, Sunny came down and told us about how there was a fantastic amount of growth occurring here in the uh, brokerage firms, and uh, we in the past had done some workshops uh, in that field. Um, we expect to be doing more, in fact, in the very, very near future with a uh, non-credit certificate in the area of importing and exporting. But getting back to uh, your original question, we see the North Country as being probably one of the areas within the county that will have a significant amount of growth. Now that growth can be in the terms of just sheer population, it can be in the opportunity for job advancement within one's company, job advancement uh, to another company, and it also can mean new jobs in the community. Plus, there also is one's self personal growth. So we are looking to expand what we're doing uh, down at our main campus to the northern tier to a greater extent than we had in the past. Through speaking with uh, Northeastern Clinton Central School, Bob Musso, the principal who's been of great help to us, and as I mentioned earlier, uh, certainly Krista Grand Prix and Mary Jo, w and the Chamber of Commerce. I can't leave out your Chamber of Commerce up here. Um, they were very, very, very cooperative and I sent out a letter to about 110 of them and indicated to them that not only are we interested in serving the people, the population here, we're interested in serving the businesses. And we do do some customized training for certain companies in the area here uh, and we've been very, very successful at that. So we're looking to serve through workshops, seminars, customized training and credit courses, people who reside here in the northern tier. We also realize that in your viewing area over in Ellenburg, Altona, some of those people might come over and if they even had a specific need or interest in their area, they had ten or more people roughly, that's usually the size that we look for, mm -hmm. uh, we'd be more than happy to try and offer something over there at Northern Adirondack Central School where we do offer college classes during the day. As you know, our program, our area, viewing area, just about the area, except for Vermont. We're not over in Vermont, but right. otherwise, all those communities you named are within the viewing area here, and we'll get your message, well, you know. And there aren't as many people over in the Ellenburg, uh, Altona area, and you ha you need, uh, I don't know what percentage you, you, uh, you say you need 10 in the class, right? Usually an average of at least 10 to 12. And, um, as I say, when we get things started, we have a little bit of flexibility, but like right now, I believe we have about, oh, 14 maybe in the accounting class, and I think we have about 12 in the uh, business organization management class, and I, I think we let the psychology go with eight because we felt it was the first time and we were looking at the average right. of the classes. Yeah. And we were very pleased, and uh, we're hoping that um, we're expanding that now to nine offerings come the spring, and we figure, especially in the spring when the weather is quite not as nice. Uh, people would be a little bit more apprehensive in driving down to our main campus. And with the satellite here, uh, it would save them that 50 miles, as you oh. pointed out, the gas for driving down that the far. The time. And the time. If you're going to be here three hours, it'd take right. another hour and a half to get down there, you know, and back. Sure. And back. Yeah. You're, you're talking because you've got to go all the way through the community, and there's right. no easy way to get through Plattsburgh, even going around by... Um, the Royal yeah. Savage and come back. You know, right. it's, it's it still takes time. It takes time. Yeah. It takes time. All right. Uh, now, th these are going to be credit courses. The three you had were credit courses. That's correct. Now, do less people go because of the money? You take accounting and uh, English, you said, with the other one you had? Well, now we have accounting, we have <coughs> business organization and management, okay. and psychology. Okay. Both of those, they, they're looking for the knowledge as much as the the credits right that's something they can use every day Absolutely. in their jobs sure. but the credit is nice because they're probably going to be working toward their associate's degree they would they, certainly like to yep yep and keep it up you know some people can go 10 years before they get it correct we have students that uh, because of other commitments they may take one course a semester and uh, they go fall spring summer and take maybe nine ten credits so it's gonna it's going to take them probably about six years to complete it, but we have had people stretch it out and they do do it 
and they realize that um, once they get started, I think that's the big thing, taking that first step. And uh, we do assist them in many different ways in alleviating, I believe, the anxiety. And uh, some of these people uh, may find out by contacting our main campus that they would also be eligible for some financial aid. Although it is becoming less and less, uh, they may find out that they could qualify depending upon their personal financial situation for a little bit of assistance. Maybe some of their businesses would be willing to help too. You know, We do have some, some businesses that uh, do absolutely. help. Absolutely. Now, if you're wondering, and you know how our community college has grown over the years, and if you're wondering who comes out of uh, community college and what do they do, you're looking at a prime example. Graduate of a community college, yes. worked community college 95% uh, of your life. That's correct. Correct. That's correct. You went to where? What community college? Well, I went. I went to Rockland Community College, which was in Suffern, New York, and uh, our president is a graduate of a community college. And we we yeah. mentioned yes, yeah. Yeah. and many of our faculty are, and uh, we have some from you know universities uh -huh. and four-year colleges, but uh, it's a nice mixture. And uh, having had the experience, we have people who have gone on, as you know, who are now attorneys in the area. Some are. PhDs teaching at Plattsburgh or other universities, some are medical doctors, and um, we are very, very proud of what the, uh, the community has given to us in the college, and we're also very proud what we hope the community feels we're giving back to, to them. One of the stories we recently did that last week and enjoyed very much was meeting Jimmy Wu uh, the, and his wife, Gina, the owners of the Golden Buffet in Plattsburgh, and one of the employees we talked to was a young girl whose last name is Martin, and I'm trying to think of her first name, uh, and she's going to Clinton Community mm -hmm. full-time, and she, very full-time, and she's working part-time and looking forward to, uh, you know, getting out in the world. All right, so how did you come up with the list of programs that you have, the list of courses, and, and what are they? Well, we certainly are going to continue on with those courses that have a follow-up. For example, our Principles of Accounting 1 class, we're going to have a follow-up which would be the principles of accounting too. Then we were looking at the business organization and management and we were looking at a follow-up course for that particular course so we're going to offer a personnel administration course in the spring and then we also plan on offering a follow-on to the intro to psychology with a human development course. But will you also start accounting one again also? We will start <coughs> accounting one probably next fall. Next fall. Okay, next you fall. give it a pair right. a year. And what, right. we, what we in addition are going to uh, be offering are a beginning course in English and some mathematics, uh, and including statistics. And we also felt that there are a lot of new businesses up in this area who are coming in and we found out that some of them were interested in safety so Dr. Clark Herdick who's on our faculty said well maybe we ought to consider offering a course up here in safety and first aid geared a little bit to uh, meet the industrial needs which he does do to some extent but within the curricula he can switch it around a little bit and maybe we can be of service through that course for safety and first aid in the area businesses uh, uh, throughout the North Country. In addition, uh, we are going to start with a few other beginning courses like cultural, cultural anthropology and sociology. And uh, all together, there will be nine, nine different offerings, some designed to continue on for the students who are presently taking classes and others for those students who would like to begin. I, I'm disappointed. I thought you, this was all your idea in every one of these courses. You mean which ones? Every one of those I thought well, was your original idea, and they weren't. Well, no, Clark I, I, and all these I, people. I confer with my boss, of course, Dr. Lacasio, who's yes. the academic dean, and mm -hmm. um, we we involve our division coordinators. Uh -huh. uh, I think one of the important things that our viewing audience should know: uh, this is fully legitimate in the sense that we're just not offering courses, and everybody can just come. There are, just like we have on our main campus, a requirement that the people have the appropriate background. We want to we want to do everything. As you know, if you watch regularly, it happened. Battery died in the middle of what you were saying, uh, Mike. Well, but glad it wasn't on the North. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, we, we didn't. It doesn't hurt us. We're right back in business. Uh, continue, please. You said I think you were talking about how people have to qualify. They don't just take anybody that wants to. Right. Talk. One of the things that we want to do is make sure that students who want to sign up for a course have the ability and background to succeed. 
So we will be offering the same placement test that we offer down on our own campus at selected times and dates here in the North Country so that the people even can take those tests here without having to go to our main campus. Uh -huh. Primarily those uh, what we call our placement tests are in the area of English and mathematics so that if a student came uh, to us from the community and said I would like to take your first course in English we would say fine just like down on the main campus on such and such a night we're going to have a placement test doesn't take it doesn't cost anything to take these tests they're free of charge but as a result of them we use them to help speak with the student and place them into the appropriate course so that their chance of success is enhanced that's one of the responsibilities mm -hmm. we feel that good advisement should do this is a big movement on Clinton's part coming up here with this number of courses. Oh, yes. As far away and it's a commitment. Camera. And oh, it's a commitment. A commitment, right. yes. Uh, of course, as we mentioned uh, off camera, uh, one of your people very committed is your the head of your board of directors. Oh, yeah. Well, well Nina Coolidge Nina is Coolidge. chairperson. Jay Z. And the president, of course, lives in Jay Z. Jay Z, yes. Yeah. Jay Fennell. Dr. Yep. Fennell lives in Jay Z. Yep. And uh, we have uh, quite a number of students that uh, come down here once they've graduated. But as I, I think when we were speaking earlier, uh, we pointed out that we offer college level classes here at Northeast Clinton during the day for uh, students who are accelerated that would like to take college level courses in English and mathematics and um, they are taught by people who teach for us regularly in the evening or during the summer and that of course being Doug Agor and Jack Dawson who teaches in the mathematics area and they're both fine people and the students do extremely well. Okay, we'll take a short break and you can find out what else is happening in the North Country by watching this next one minute or so. If you haven't seen this yet, you're going to very soon. You mail out about how many of these? We mail out throughout the region about 45,000 copies. Don't leave it in the post office if you pick up your mail in the post office. And you can't tell where you're in the front or the back. That's what I said. But there is a difference. Two differences. You see, that's the front. See, it's got the postage. It also says workshop and seminars, which means that it's not credit. And then on the other side, it's got credit. And in here on page 8, it will explain the program at Northeastern Clinton, so you have it right in front of you, and you won't have to just go by what we're saying, uh, trying to follow it, but it's in here. Bring it home, look through it. If you don't want to keep it, don't keep it, but at least go through it and find out where your money is going. You're paying for most of this, uh, or a lot of this, I should say, right, with your, with your county taxes, and there's a picture of Clinton community. And uh, if it gets big enough, one of these years, down the back, they'll have a picture of Northeastern Clinton Central oh, as their auxiliary wing up here. <laughs> right. All right. Um, we talked a little, just a little bit off while we had that last break about full-time students at the college mm -hmm. from up in this area could also take a course at night. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. They may, they may take three or four classes down on the main campus and then take one or two classes up here. Because they're working days in the morning. They only have afternoons, right? Or they may take classes on Monday, Wednesday, Friday down there and find that they, they want to work two days and they might want to take a course up here at night. Correct. If you remember when that commercial that said, Mikey, try it, you may like it. You remember that little commercial with Mikey with that with the cereal or whatever? Well, you try one of these courses. You may like it. Decide that college is for you. Take three or six courses, I'm sorry, three or six credits a, a semester and you'll build. How many do you need to graduate from your associate? Most of our associate degrees are approximately 60 to 65. Okay, so it may take you 10 semesters at six each time, but you're also carrying on your normal life, right? Absolutely. And, and, then, uh, and also, I'm, I'm sure that some uh, employers would assist with the money in this, and maybe even some time off to work on it, because it, it's helping them too, coming back. Yes. All right. What else would you like to tell us about your, uh, your pro did, you, did you name them all so far? Just about, huh? I think I, I mentioned most of them uh, that we will be offering in the upcoming semester. Okay. Yes. If a person were to, how, how would he decide, uh, how, who would they contact to see if they're interested? Well, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to make the full commitment. We have two days that we have identified, and we'll have more if, if the population here responds, but there are going to be at least two days 
that we are going to be up here providing information and we can register people, start the registration process, and they can gain any additional information. Mary Coleman of my office, who they may reach if I can give a telephone number. Oh, this is the number we were speaking oh, about. Oh, way back, yeah. 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 This number is 562-4143. And Mary Coleman will be visiting the North Country on December 7th from 3 to 7 p.m. at the Miramar Mall in Champlain and she will register people who are interested in the credit courses or the credit free which we'll get to in a while and uh, she will be glad to provide them with any information that they might desire about the courses and the cost and that's all found in the brochure she will also be up here on January 4th at the Key Bank in Rouse's Point and that will be from noon to 530 and then we have a special registration at uh, Wyeth Arist because we do have a lot of employees there taking courses and we'll be at Wyeth Arist uh, on the 14th of December uh, to register employees within their plants uh, as such. So we're very very much looking forward to that and as I indicated we will be giving a, um, an opportunity to uh, have uh, students take the um, testing here at Northeast Clinton as well. Now when will these courses, the first classes, set to go? This spring? Yes, these, cla these classes will begin, and they will begin uh, starting on the Tuesday right after Martin Luther King. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I, I made a mistake. It's the Thursday after Martin Luther King's birthday. And that's the 19th? I think it's the 19th. I think it's the 19th. Uh, that, well, his yeah, birthday, eight, I believe. 18th or 19th, okay. I believe, yes. Now, what are they committing themselves for? What kind of, how many times a week, and I think on the other side here, you indicate, for instance, uh, business organization and management, one night a week? One night a week from 6 to 8.45 p.m. Two hours. And there's a 15-minute break in there. Two, two hours uh, and a half. Yeah, it, so it's 150 minutes of instruction. Right. And they do that for uh, 15 weeks throughout the semester, and these classes will be over by the middle of May. Okay, so they could take another one on, let's say, on Wednesday, they could take one on uh, Thursday night or Monday night, and you could take uh, first a safety, first aid, three credits. Yep. Again, uh, 150 minutes. And we have a few classes because of their nature, such as accounting, that do require two evenings, and we have two hours each evening okay. in accounting. All right. They does re there is some homework, obviously. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely some homework. So we recommend for the person who's considering starting out, and this is a new venture, probably starting out, especially if they have other commitments, probably with one course and generally two as a maximum. Something you need and something you like maybe too, right? So that Absolutely. So that you, you can work into it and you'll find that the, uh, even though you've been out of school for four or five years or one year or, or ten years, that you can get back in. It just takes a little bit of time, right? Absolutely. A bit of and, time. Effort. and effort. And <laughs> effort. It takes some effort. And a little bit of money. Right. Uh, now these are credit courses. You say that you think you might have non-credit coming up this spring too? Absolutely. We are working on a series now to develop uh, courses that will not duplicate, of course, anything that uh, the school itself is offering in their adult education, but we are looking at offering some courses, I know, in the area of importing and exporting, which is certainly something that's done very, very heavily in this area and we feel that some of those courses will be of assistance to people who are using that mm -hmm. particular expertise for their livelihood mm -hmm. uh, and many other areas in the in the credit free uh, some might be in the area of uh, French because a lot of French speaking people are coming throughout this area and we find that some individuals might wish to take a conversational French course as, as an example credit right. free right. now here's a course for instance uh, new credit and collection for today's business. What is more important than credit and collection in, in business? Yes. There is nothing. I don't know if you'll offer that up here or not. Well, that gentleman happens to be uh, an expert in the field. Uh, he is down around the New Hampshire area. And see, one of the things that we do, we, we don't only have people, of course, that have expertise in our immediate area, but through the contacts of Mary Coleman in my office and Bob Berger, who works in my office, we have an opportunity of touching into resources 
literally throughout the Northeast. So we bring people who are proven entities to the area and we try to bring them of course at a very reasonable price. And as you can see we have workshops that um, may run anywhere from ten, fifteen dollars up to a hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars if they deal with you know professional right. workshops which require a certification. Yeah, that's but, a one day deal, right? right? And that that I believe the fee is fifteen fifteen dollars on a Friday from nine AM to noon. Right. Class limit forty. It's a lecture. It's a lecture. Now because you're not dead uh, set in cement what you're going to offer for non-credit courses for the spring, are you? Yes. In other words, if people want something and there's enough of them, you, you'll give it to them. Absolutely. All they have to do is call Mary and we'll make, it, we'll make every effort to do it. I mean, within reason, uh, we will certainly make every effort, uh, if there's an interest, to try to find the resources and offer that course here. And the nice thing about it, as I said earlier, uh, we are very, very pleased to be here, and we have had excellent cooperation with uh, Northeastern Clinton Central Schools, and uh, I think uh, it's been a mutual benefit to uh, everyone because it's our tax dollars providing uh, education and continuing education for the citizens of the North Country, and that's really to do it, to do it with a quality product and also to do it at a reasonable cost. And you've got this facility here that should be used in the evening as well as during the day because it's, it's still depreciating and uh, heating the, at night the same as in the daytime. And uh, in the summer, even if you have some, it's even cooler maybe in the evening a little bit than it is. In the, but anyway, those are some of the things. Uh, anything else that we want to talk about this, uh, Mike? You said you did mention... Let's take a short break and we'll be right back. You're watching Hometown Cable. I'm Bob Venn. He's not. He's Mike Schwartz. S-C-H-W-A-R-T-Z. Correct. Calvin Castan. You know, Cal. On the camera. Thanks much. If you people wonder how we plan these programs, or we really don't. We were talking off camera about our children. And I uh, mentioned that his children are in the process of getting master's degrees, finishing mm -hmm. up school, husbands are going. And I mentioned my son who started at Clinton and uh, just didn't decide he wanted to go to school anymore. And now he is uh, uh, working for Prim Hall, traveling, doing very well, very well mechanical minded. And you mentioned that uh, there are going to possibly be some courses in, uh, what did you call that field? Well, we're looking at electrical technology, electronics, and we're hoping to get the final word any day now for a program that's going to begin in the fall of 1996. And of course that will be one of the programs that if things go on schedule we're building a new building uh, which is going to be science and technology and that building hopefully will open in the fall of 97. Uh, we want to be in a situation where we will be able to educate the people here in the county to keep up with the technological changes that are taking place uh, every day in our businesses and yep. in years to come. You know, you think maybe when you get that diploma, either from high school or from college, you're done and there's no more learning and you're really learning the rest of your life, correct? Absolutely. One of the things that amazed me the most when we talked before, but I'm not sure whether it was you, but I think it was you that told me, that on any given night at the community college itself on the campus you could have 300 or more people uh, running around going to various classes. Oh, th now that number, from we, we, we have students at our own campus now where we can have three or four hundred just taking credit courses and we can have another two, three hundred there taking nine credit because at, at, in the evening uh, we have almost every room in the building occupied on many evenings. Now, I'm sure that many people out there and many people in Plattsburgh have no idea that this is happening. And just think of the importance when you've got that many people, you know, taking advantage of what you're offering out there. And, you know, just you go through this brochure and it's, it's got a lot of color this time and you've got all kinds of, say, it's brand new, surviving change, blueprint reading. You know, I can't read a blueprint. I think, I think of when I'm thinking of blueprints, if it's here... And here, that's the way it's located in the machine, and it's not. It could be four feet apart, but right next to each other in a blueprint. And I'd like to know a little bit more about blueprints, although I'm getting along in age and probably wouldn't use it, but uh, it's something I would like to know. I don't know if it'll ever be offered up here. It may not be enough use up here, but 
something like that I would attend here. Whether I would drive to Plattsburgh is, is another thing you know, to do that. I don't drive as much as I used to in the in the winter months. Mm -hmm. well, you know what that is. All right, so uh, anything else before we close that you would like to, uh, again, look, Word Perfect, Intermediate, Microsoft 6 for Windows, you can learn how to use that computer. Absolutely. You see, we have to learn. Those young people, it just seems to fall in their laps, right? Well, they're working hard. We've got to give credit to them. They, uh, it, it may seem to come a little easier, and it's, it might, but uh, they, they also work, and they're being challenged as well. I, I do want to make one last um, note. Eileen uh, Walker, who we spoke about earlier, <coughs> has put our brochure together. She does a fine job. And, uh, of course, I, I want to compliment my staff that I'm fortunate to have who artist, does a tremendous job in putting together these workshops and seminars uh, and uh, we have a fine staff in the continuing education department and they'll you'll note that not only are we offering uh, some of the workshops that we've done in the past that are favorites we generally have at least 15 to 20 minimum new workshops in about the hundred or so that we offer every semester okay. Does, she's the artist also? Yeah. Yes, she is. Well, maybe yeah. we ought to know, the people of the Northern Tier, who is Eileen Walker? I didn't find out till uh, that man ran for the mayor two years ago. Was yep. he, two that years was ago? Yep, that was, was her, her husband. Yep. And guess who his wife is? Eileen. Eileen Walker. And who was Eileen Walker? Well, Eileen's maiden name was Rice. Yes, Janine and Sam Rice's daughter from Shazy, New York, a person that I've mentioned many times. And back when I was in college, uh, and he had bought Art Jarvis's Gulf Station there in the main street. I put in a few hours on Sunday morning, Saturday nights, and made a few dollars so that I could get back and forth to college. And I'm always indebted to Janine and Sam and uh, six children. And Eileen is, is the oldest. Is Eileen, you're the oldest of the bunch. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get you in trouble, but you did an excellent job putting this together. She does an excellent job. Yes, she does. And at least go through it. You don't have to uh, digest it. Go through it. Look at it appreciate it because you are as we mentioned you're, you're you're paying some of this and it's a great and 45,000 going to go out yes they go out through Clinton County and Northern Essex County touch Franklin and also a few going over on the border into Vermont uh, we we are finding that uh, we're getting a tremendous response from the people and we kind of consider ourselves serving uh, the three counties here as well as parts of Vermont and we even do get a few of our neighbors coming down from uh, Canada to benefit from the courses that we offer and the workshops as well. Now, people could go, because you're in Clinton County, don't mean you can't go to North Country Community College as a community college, and some of their Essex people come to our college. That's correct. So how do you get the information to them that, you're, that you have a Clinton Community College? Over in that county? Yeah. Well, they, we have catalogs and we have brochures and a lot of times that uh, we are part of the State University of New York and being part of the State University of New York on what they call the SUNY application we are listed as one of the 30 community colleges and one of the 64 units of the State University of New York so students will inquire uh, about the college and we send them information about the programs that we offer uh, a lot of people for example are not aware that we have approximately a hundred students who live at Plattsburgh State University housing and attend Clinton Community College on a full-time basis. Whoa, we didn't know that. Oh, that's another. We, we have housing available through arrangements with Plattsburgh State and there's the shuttle bus, you know, the cart bus. Yes. Brings them right from downtown Plattsburgh out to the Is college. Is that and right? Back and forth. <coughs> didn't know that. All right. Uh, this may not be your field, uh, uh, I'm sure, as such, because you're in continuing education, but um, explain to we people who are watching here the advantages. What, do you, what are you eligible for when you graduate with your two-year degree from uh, Clinton Community as far as other colleges are concerned? Okay. That's important. An associate degree can be of different types. We have associate degrees that are designed to place the graduate immediately into the field of work. Uh, three of them, or four of them, I can mention very quickly. I believe we have one of the best nursing programs in the country. Our students do extremely well. 
on the exams, the boards that they take, and I think recently it was in indicated in the paper that 100% of the students from Clinton Community College taking the, nur uh, the nursing exam passed. And that place does <laughs> right up there at the top with only a few select other nursing programs. That is an AAS program designed that after the student completes that program, they generally go to work and secure employment. However, it does not preclude that they may not go on at another time for a baccalaureate degree. We have an excellent criminal justice program where after two <coughs> years, students may seek employment, whether it be in probation, parole, uh, customs, immigration, state police, sheriff's department. That program is designed for immediate employment after two years. Now, well, wait a minute, stop right there. Because they took that two-year course, that's something they want. It will help them get that job an awful lot easier. It will provide them with the necessary uh, experience in terms of uh, the coursework that will be what they're doing on the job. And several of the programs I mentioned, of course, the nursing and also the criminal justice, they require that students get some practical experience. And the uh, medical laboratory technology program that we offer uh, also is a program where after two years students have the ability to go to work. I say two years, it may take some two, two and a half, three, we don't, it, it's an associate degree. Yes. Because many of our students might be going part time. Uh, another area is accounting, where students uh, may not want a four year accounting degree, but want a two year accounting degree, and they can go to work after two years as well. Other programs that we have at the college are not designed for immediate employment, but they are designed for transfer to a four-year college or university. And a significant number of our students transfer to Plattsburgh State. One of the areas that uh, they transfer to, for example, is in education. So through Dr. Lacasio and the division coordinators, they have worked very closely with the faculty at Plattsburgh and the administration. And we have articulation agreements, which basically say, if you take this and this at Clinton Community College, and do so with an average of, say, C plus or B, whatever the case might be, you will be accepted into Plattsburgh as a full-fledged junior. We have a program with Cortland State teachers. I'm sure for those who uh, want it to be a physical education teacher, we have a program mapped out where a student can come for the first two years or whatever it takes to Clinton and then transfer on in health and physical education to Cortland State. And we have other programs with other state universities as well as with private colleges. So I think we are really providing to the citizens of the area an opportunity. We also have programs, and you said certificate, which are not degrees, they're equal to let's say half of a degree. We call those certificates. And they are also <coughs> designed for people who want to go to work. Uh, they may be working and they want to upgrade their credentials. Okay. Give you a chance to digest that. We'll come right back. A couple more things, and we're going to close off. Thanks for uh, again for watching. Uh, don't forget, this comes. Don't throw it in the basket. Don't put it on the desk. Look through it. Then do what you want to do. But look through it first. Be right back. Mike Schwartz. Before we leave, there are students in high school who haven't worked as hard as they might, and they found out when they go to get into a four-year college, they say, "Sorry, you don't have." You don't have what it takes at this point. What do those people do with a community college? Well, we do offer at the college an opportunity for students who need additional assistance to reach college level, and that can be obtained through certain courses and programs we have available at the college. We also have, as a very, very strong component of the college, our academic assistance center, and they can get a tremendous amount of extra help on a regular basis through tutors that are there to help them. Right, so sometimes we learn a little bit late what we should have done our freshman and sophomore year in high school, you know. And this is a chance right here in your backyard to get ready and then by the time you get into a junior, as you move to the four-year college, you'll probably be awfully close to the person who started there originally. All right. The reason we were here today primarily, of course, one of the big reasons was to see Mike again. Uh, that was an opportunity. I, I'm serious. I really am. Uh, you're a good person for our area, and I'm glad you like the area, too. Love it. You love it. Right. And uh, the reason we're here is because of this new uh, credit courses, 
more of them to be offered here in the Northern Tier. You, you say it better than I can. Uh, nine courses. They'll be starting in the spring. Uh, details will be coming up on December 7th, December 14th, January 4th. There'll be talks. There'll be in the paper. Right. There'll and there will be registration at the Miramar Mall and at Key Bank. And for further information, they can call 562-4143. And we'll be glad to provide them with any assistance they need about how do I find out more or how do I go about registering for the upcoming spring semester courses in the Northern Tier at Northeastern Clinton Central School. Okay. And why is this man here? because this is continuing education and this is the man in charge of continuing education. Mike Schwartz, Clinton County, by the way of Pearl River, New York. <laughs> thank, thank you very you much, Mike. Mike, and thank you everybody for tuning in to Hometown Cable. We're on uh, every day, of course. Calvin and Sam have a program every day at 12.30, 4.15, 8 p.m., midnight, 8 the following morning, five chances to see the same program. Every Sunday, this program now, which has been going on for I guess about five years, we've done over 390 programs now. It's called What's Going On Here, where I have the mic and he has the camera. We have nice people to let you know what is happening in your North Country. We're always open to uh, suggestions and what you'd like to see, because we're trying to fill you in with what's happening in our North Country, in addition to education. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Bob Venn, Mike Schwartz, Calvin Castine, and you know who you are. See you next Sunday. <laughs>